morning, Trainiacs. We are six days out from the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii. We're flying right now. As we did when I flew to Port Elizabeth for the Half Ironman World Championships, I asked all of you to ask me your questions about Ironman Kona. We're gonna answer them today instead of just making you follow me around airports. Shh. Vlogging here. Jeez. All right, so Trainiacs. First thing, we still have the Cyclops H2 bike trainer giveaway. This is the tippy top of the line Cyclops smart trainer for Zwift. Link to that giveaway is in the description below. Now, on to your question. From my buddy Charles Caustic, which products are you going to test there? Well, I know that Ventum is releasing a road bike. I believe it has disc brakes. I think it's an aero road bike and it has clearance for 32 mil tires. It's like a gravel aero road bike, a Guerrero. Also, PowerTap is apparently releasing a new set of power pedals. Mike Robo, Kiwi Triathlete, what year will you qualify for Kona? If I was a betting man, I would say that I am going to race Kona through a sponsor's exemption before I qualify. If it's qualifying, four years, my guess. From Kika55 and from Telmo Cupertino. This is kind of like a two part question. How far in advance do you have to make hotel reservations and how hard or expensive is it to find a place to stay during Kona? Um, it's very hard and expensive. It, you, um, somewhere around six months ahead of time and everything basically doubles in price. But everyone says that Hawaii is really expensive. Our flights were $1,600 Canadian and we got first class. And before you say, hey, Taryn, you're bougie, um, with all of the bikes that we have to check and the camera gear that we have to check and all of the meals that I have to buy for the teams, it basically ends up working out to the same price as first class versus economy. Jed Loomis, is it the conditions or the course that makes this a hard race? It's tough conditions. The course itself is really easy, but it's tough conditions and you're racing against the best in the world. So everyone goes out and blows themselves up. Combine that with tough conditions where their body is like pushed to the edge of its physical limitation. And then all of a sudden you see a 75 year old woman blow past you on the bike. You're like, well, I gotta move and people risk blowing up. That's why you see a lot of people walking on the run. One, two punch. How to prepare for extra hot and wet weather. Wet, whatever, hot. You spend about 15 minutes in a sauna three times a week. Build that up every single week to about 30 minutes in a sauna three times a week, starting six weeks out from the event. Raise your blood plasma levels, get you heat acclimated, and lower your sweat rate. Or your lower, no, no, lower your sweat temperature so you start sweating quicker. Is Lionel becoming too intense and where do you draw the line? Well, pros are a double-edged sword. They're all extremely intense, all extremely driven. That is what gets them to becoming pro, but it's also what risks their health. And they all tread this fine line between fit as hell and totally out of the race, burnt out, never gonna race again. And it's the athletes whose body can, can handle that and they can thrive under that physical and mental pressure that are able to keep going. How far is too far? It's different for everyone. Lionel's pretty mentally tough though. All right, we gotta hop on a plane to Chicago. Talking about knitting and nails. Ladies, how'd that go? They ditched me and sat by themselves while I just got stranded. Talked about nail polish and what else? <laughs> Not triathlon no, mostly, is the answer. Mostly, mostly, nail nail polish. Polish. mostly nail polish. They deserve to sit by themselves. Okay, next one. Sanders or Keenly, faster swim time. I think it's a toss up. I think they're coming out in the same group. I think potentially with the progress that Lionel Sanders has made this year, he might be able to come out on top, but it's all swim groups in Kona. So like there's gonna be two seconds apart, probably no matter what, one way or another. What's the craziest Kona story I have? Well, the first time we went to Kona, it was NTK and I for our honeymoon. 
and it wasn't necessarily planned, but we had gone to Maui before, really liked it, and I was like, hey, you know, you want me to take care of booking the honeymoon? And she said, yeah, sure, and I went, what about Hawaii? She went, yeah, sure, and I said, what about a different island? And she went, yeah, sure. And I said, like, you probably want to go somewhere where there's an event going on so we could do something. And she said, yeah, sure. And then I said, well, the Ironman Hawaii World Championship is happening this week and tickets are already booked, okay? And then she fell in love with it. Everyone won. So, David Jones 7 asks, what does Lucy Charles need to do to stop the reef? Well, she needs to hang on to Daniela Reef's wheel and then hope, hope like heck that she can pull out some serious run legs. I think she's going to be able to hang on to Daniela Reef's wheel, but then the issue is that Daniela Reef is probably coming off the bike a lot more fresh than Lucy Charles, and she's a bit better runner. So really, I think Attention Lucy Charles just needs time. Hey, dog. Which part of the race gets me most excited? At the finish line, they have the live feed of the run going on and Mike Riley is announcing how the placing is going and what the paces are because the pacemakers are like basically projecting who's going to finish where. That, while the athletes are coming down the Queen K Highway, that's the best part. That's so cool. Also the cannon going off, that's pretty cool because it's like dead silent as there's 15,000 people around the bay. I think Sugar Ray Leonard is on the plane with us too. He hasn't come and introduced himself to me. He's probably nervous. Alright, I saw you giving it one of these. And one of these, yeah. Okay, you, thank you, you sir. Can't, you can't fight, man. No, I can't. I can't. Okay. Not I. Well, you, Does it show? You can protect yourself. Barely. I'm Canadian. We don't have oh. to. So yeah. That was Sugar Ray Leonard. What do I love about it most? The amazing stories. Pepperoni and mushroom, you didn't like it. And this guy, Jimmy from Ventum. The whole Ventum crew is magically on a flight to Kona at the same time. I love the last half hour before... What are you doing? What are you all doing? The last half hour before midnight. Hi guys. Taryn just called Mel I, I said, I introduced as this is Mel and my wife, Mel. Mel. <laughs> I'm dead for the next seven days. How much does the trip cost? Lots and lots and lots of questions about that. Uh, $9,000? It's Mike Riley. Mike Riley? No way. Everyone's here. Good, how are you? That's it. We here. It is, uh, oh, it's just before 9 Hawaii time, but that means that it is 2 a.m. Winnipeg time, and that means that I'm going to be up at about 3 a.m. Hawaii time. I get so much done in the morning. I need coffee. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. Don't forget, link to the giveaway for the Cyclops H2 is in the description below. I think we're awarding it tomorrow today as you watch this and if you aren't yet subscribed already hit that subscribe button below for all of our aloha good times at the Ironman World Championship 2018. Yeah. Aloha, mahalo.